YouTube, Sam here. Well, now that we're all done with uh, brake job stuff, uh, we need a bed in or seat or break in the brakes. Um, something that you used to always do and you don't see or hear people doing it much anymore. I looked on the box, I didn't say anything that told me uh, how to do it or to even to do it, but my theory is, is uh, brakes Although they've changed over the last few years, I still think you probably need to seat them or break them in. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. And basically, to do that, I'm going to hit about 30 to 35 miles an hour. I'm going to not slam on the brakes, but I'm going to put on the brakes and slow down fairly quickly. But, but not panicky, not letting the ABS go off. Just a nice... Uh, steady stop we'll put it that way controlled stop that's more i'm looking for and then go down to about five miles an hour let off and uh, go back up and do that a few times um, that'll kind of seat in or bed in the brakes it basically deposits some of the brake material onto your rotors especially when you got new rotors you want to do this i would say um, yet again this is one of those places if you do what i do and and something goes bad it's i'm not responsible if you don't like doing it don't do it uh but i do believe it will probably make it last longer work better and perform better if you do this procedure so i'm going to go out and do that first being careful that i'm not going any place where there's going to be a whole bunch of people around and just right here on my road I'm going to hit the brakes. I'm not going to have my hand on the wheel at all, and I'm going to see if it pulls any direction or how well it stops. Um, don't want to do that too many times, but you want to make sure that it, you know things are working the way they're supposed to before you go out driving and find out they're not working at all. Um, I am also going to stop here, and I'm going to put it in reverse, and I'm going to kind of see if this this should adjust the rear brakes they feel really good so i'm not too worried about it everything seems to be stopping straight it's not pulling to any direction or the other so i'm going to go out on the road and we're going to get up to speed and do this up to about 35 and there's nobody behind me there is a car coming, but I'm still gonna go. But there's nothing behind me, he's coming at me. So when he passes me by, I'll go ahead and hit the brakes. Okay, and I'm gonna go down to about five mile an hour, let off, and we're gonna get back up to 30, 35 mile an hour. I'm gonna do that a few times. should just make my brakes perform a little bit better. I'm kind of braking a little bit harder this time just to kind of feel it. It's not pulling any direction, nothing like that. And I do have a car actually coming by. Oh, no, he just turned, so never mind. We'll get back up there and do it again. I'm just going to keep on doing this. because I'm not going to put it up at the end of this video. Uh, it's a pretty good rant about instructions uh, and instructions that come with products. Beyond that, I don't know if you need to do this with brakes. I didn't say to or not to do it, so I figure I've done it lots of years and so far I haven't had any problems, so I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, if you choose to decide to do what I do, 
uh, it'll probably help your brakes rather than hurt them anyway so there you go that's this is just my opinion uh, anyhow this is Sam jack of all master none y'all have a good one